everyone wanted me to come back to the hall. So I'm here. Let's just get downstairs calmly. Ring the police. Just the police. So I'm waiting for him to get all the stuff as usual But I gotta admit I don't know what to expect um, I'm kind of nervous because I don't really I don't really want to find anything um, You know tragic, but I want to I want to know is this all in our heads or what but I mean you guys really wanted me to go back and who am I to not Provide what you want so I'm gonna ask you to do one thing and one thing only I mean, yeah, I'm gonna subscribe and like, but share this on Facebook. I wanna try and get these videos out to as many people as possible. Uh, we are growing the channel really well. I'm so proud of all of us for how well we've been doing, uh, especially people who've been around from the beginning um, and all the new people as well. You know, I'm so happy we've managed to grow the channel to where it's at today, but I wanna go further. I don't wanna stop. I wanna keep going. I wanna see how far we can actually push this channel. I want to hit a million subscribers. I know, I know. I thought, I thought I'd be chilled out when I hit 100k, but I'm actually more determined now to to get the channel bigger. So I'm actually heading to France, uh, Switzerland, and Italy in the beginning of January, making the most amazing content ever. Better than Romania. I know it's hard to believe, but I think I'm going to be making content better than Romania trip. Yeah, it even shocks me thinking about it, but, but anyway, it looks like they're all mounted up ready. So yeah, it looks like they're all mounted up ready, so I'm, I'm making a stand out in the cold. Right, so we're gonna start heading down to that wall and find out what is there. Okay, so the video dropped. I was very nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous about dropping that video. I didn't know what you guys would think, but out of hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people, and they had like two negative comments, and everyone wanted me to come back to the hall. So I'm here, I'm back, and we're proving demons. We're both proving demons and we've high times exploring and we are going to go through that wall and find out once and for all what is there i mean at first i was like stupid let's this is gonna have a bit of fun filming this next minute we're pulling fabric out the wall we pull a, 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 a old knitted santa out the wall and then weird stuff comes through on the spirit box i know a lot of you guys you just like you know you can't really believe in it that well and you know what i don't blame you because it is very hard to believe there's no trickery involved there's no fakeage on this channel we do not do that kind of stuff i was here to disprove it but then the unthinkable happens it actually could be true so what are you guys expecting to find tonight i don't have any expectations you know don't get your hopes up high spirit do have the ability to lie to you you know but at the same time as you said, I'll even quote you, how do you disprove finding that Santa doll on the wall? Yeah. I know a couple people suggested rats could bring it up, but do you see how big that thing was? Yeah, I know. How packed thinking, in there? Even someone said, like, a child dropped it down there, but what child would be on the roof dropping well, stuff down the, the chimney? Well, on the roof chimney, no, no. There's a reason why I dedicated so much time into doing this, and that's because I actually believe that there is potential for something in there. Um, I know that you were so excited, I was so excited to get it done, and all you guys watching, we're so excited for us to get it done. Now, even me, with food poisoning right now, came out tonight <laughs> just to finish this wall, just so we can uh, find out once and for all if the spirit box was right. 
So the video dropped uh, literally two days ago and I'm back already just because everyone's hounding me. You guys want to see it so bad. And this video is getting recorded on Monday right now, is it Monday? Yeah. Monday night, it's like nearly midnight right now and it's gonna be dropping Wednesday. So, you know, I pushed to get this video out. I've got an Ireland series I've not released yet because I'm pushing this wall video. I'm gonna take the first turn of knocking for it now. I think 50% of the comments are, you know, bring the sledgehammer, bring the sledgehammer. But the problem is, is I'm gonna take you, just show you a little bit of the house right now. Just this bit here, this bit, all the wall is completely bored, right? Underneath here, can you shine a light in here, Weeman? Inside here, you can see the old thatched. When will you get this light working? The old thatched roof, it used to be a thatched roof. Look, look at that, inside there. And they've just put this metal sheeting roof over the top of it. It was just one fast roof, so you can tell how old this place actually is. And I'm worried if we hit that with a sledgehammer, if I put my weight in, 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 in pork, oh. in what did I say? Yo, oh. I, I said to her out there, I felt some of pork me. And then I've just heard a giggle behind me, but then turn around and you didn't giggle. That's why I pulled her turn around and pulled the face, because I thought you were laughing at me with torch. None of us spoke to you. No, no, I was, no you I was, was it when I was out there, yeah. weren't I? Some of pork me here, when I was just stood there. Um, right, so. Yeah, the reason why we don't want to bring a sledgehammer is because I'm worried about bringing the whole house down. It's falling to bits. The roof that we're stood on, not this roof in particular, this roof looks okay from down below, but this roof here is literally like that. It's like a banana from underneath. I'll you try only and show you. have to look at this bit from where it's come in here. Yeah. It's just, it's so bad. So we, we need to really watch. So I can't be taking sledgehammers to it. It will bring the whole house down. So nice and easily does it. We're going to chip away slowly. It doesn't matter. You guys don't have to wait. It's us who's putting in the effort. I'll just time lapse it. So just uh, be patient and we will get through this wall. I promise you that right now. The, the chisel is practically useless. If you just smash the bricks away, it looks fine. <coughs> Right, so what I said last time, you know, I don't endorse going and knocking down walls, but this building is literally falling apart. And, um, you know, the roof is not connected to the other side of the building. The floors are all bent and, and breaking apart. So, you know, I'd, there's no there's no right or wrong here in the situation because of what we pulled out of the wall, there could potentially be something there and everyone wants to see what could be there. It, it, it's most likely, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's most likely not gonna be anything behind that wall now, but just in case there was some kind of, you know, remains behind there, I think it's our duty to get them out of there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the first shift to try and get them through these three bricks here. We've gotta be really careful because some of these parts inside this wall are part of the structure. Now, if we take this, this bit of support down in here, the chances are the building can just implode on itself. So um, we've got to really watch out right now. So easy does it, you know, little bits at a time and all that, because I've got big plans for the channel and I don't want to die yet. I feel like going through the whole house. Huh? I feel like going through the whole oh. house. Yeah, it's fine. You think so? Yeah, I'll be fine. 
cuts once I get in done it. Uh, hold up. Keep do me a favor. Keep that brick there. Don't break it anymore. Work lower. And we Wait, can reach we can reach in through a hole from that bottom bit. From here? Yeah, from here lower. So we'll take out some of these ones. If, if you can take out probably the brick here and the brick behind it. Okay now shit me up. Holy f Andrew. <laughs> I hope that got a time lapse picture of you jumping there. <laughs> Holy f yeah. Well, that side of the house is starting yeah. to fold in on us. <laughs> I shit you not, I am just like, woo, I know it's that cold for me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, by the looks of it, don't mess with that brick. This one? No, don't mess with that one. Stick to the ones on the side of it. I know that that wall goes back another foot to the right. So if you can take out that one, that one, and the one behind. We're going to take out all these. Uh... No, no, I'm asking you. What? This brick will be right to take out, won't it? Fee. Just come here and look at this. Look at the way the wall is. The way I'm out. looking at it from here, it's bowing out towards you. Right, we'll look at this side. You've got a support beam inside, bricked up, a wall there, and then in that side as well, you've got a wall there. I really don't know, I'm not I'm not a structural engineer like that, am I? <coughs> I mean look at this, this brick's not even connected, look. Yeah, no. So clearly that's not holding any pressure. No. Alright, well there's a good start. Now just work to the right of that. Don't touch anything on the left. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's not well it's not connected, but that that leave that now. Nah. I won't yeah. touch any of that. No, no, that's fine. I definitely won't touch any of that. No. But you're off to a really good start here now. If you can just look Now look at that brick underneath, that'll come out now, Dan. I know. It's moving. I'm just get chisel under it. Get chisel under it. The less banging the better. So it's not about removing them as well. It's about aggravating them so they move themselves. I never was paranoid about it, but you talking about it always makes me paranoid. Oh, shut up, man. I'll just get ready to get out. It's just that support beam cannot be touched, but we're off to a really good start. See, we can already start pulling it out. Yeah. Um, take out, if you can. I don't want to touch these two, really. Unless I break them up. If you can only break half of that up. Actually, I'll tell you what, tell you what. Take out that one, that broken bit, and we'll start there. And then I'll start pulling it out. Is that a f***ing nail? No, that's a twig. Alright, can you take out just one more brick? That, that, that <laughs> one more, and there's another, I mean, another one. The next minute there's going to be any wall. Just all. that one. There, yeah. That's one. one? Yeah, that one. Just that one. That'll be perfect. Sorry. Broken. Anyway. Oh, I'll see if I'm solid. Like it's. That one sounds like it might be holding a bit of pressure. Just because the FUD is through the house. Is it? The FUD's been through the house all the time. I'm feeling it through my feet the whole time. I know, but I can feel it differently through this. Right, we'll leave it like that then. And I'll, yeah, that's, okay. a, that's a nice bit of space, that. Here, and just what exactly we're dealing with, but... Oh, bloody hell. So guys, I managed to take out like six bricks. And uh, now I'm just going to start removing that. That's his dirty job. Uh, I want my mask. It wouldn't surprise me if that's why you're ill. Is this stuff? I mean, I've been wearing my mask, but... <coughs> I 
I'm 99% sure it's the uh, kebab I had. Mm -hmm. So right now I've let Andrew taking over and knock them bricks out and get it pretty well. Now here comes the grueling task of pulling all that debris out. I mean a lot of you said like, my tattoo's healing quite good actually. <coughs> so scabby now. So a lot of you said it could just be crawls bringing it in. I agree, probably is. But it's what might have been buried there before that. I mean yeah. that. Yeah. Got more cloth. So there we go. More cloth. And some of you are saying it's possibly asbestos. I can assure you now that's not asbestos. That is actual just cloth. Now some of you may say, you know, birds bring it in, rats, whatever, but I can't see a rat or a bird dragging in that Santa because it was damp and it was quite heavy. I mean, yeah, it might not have been damp when it was put there, but I don't know, I just, I can't see that happening. That's why I'm here again. Uh, you know, if I didn't believe uh, that we'd find anything or that this was just a bit of stupid, I wouldn't come back for a second time at all, even though everyone begged me, I wouldn't do it. But I honestly believe something could be in there and constantly finding stuff like that. Oh, there's nearly a bottom. Almost at the bottom. That's good. There's some torch. I'm just gonna have a look inside. It's gonna make me sick. Ow! Shit. It's full of all kinds of stuff in there, and I think it was used for a chimney at one point. Sorry for cussing, I just got a spine in my hand. So I wanted to let everyone know I'm going to France, but I'm not only going to France, I'm just on. Uh, beginning of January, I don't know when it's going to be, 2nd, 3rd, 4th We're actually driving down through France, through France, Switzerland and Italy We're going to Italy, we're spending a full week in Italy So yeah, it's absolutely crazy, I can't believe that that's what we're going to be doing uh, Especially, you know, after the Romania series, I didn't think anything could top that But I think this will What? Dude! What? Dude, dude. You know, the roof's going to fall down what? Give me this What? Wait, wait, don't touch it. This is now a crime scene. What the f is it? Look! Oh shit, no, that's a bone. 100%, 100%. No, 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 no ring the police, right? And that's it. No fun and games anymore. What the f I knocked everything over. No, you have to ring the police now. Yeah. Honestly. Okay. Um, you have to, oh, no, you have to take your memory cards out because trust me, they'll take, they'll take everything. You need to take your memory cards out. Take everything out. Alright, alright. Um, ring them now, with you. Dude. Just let me get one oh, shit. Let me get one quick look at that. One sec. <coughs> Dust, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Alright, this is a crime scene, right? One look. Is this for real right now? Is this for freaking real right now? It's a hundred percent. It's a massive, massive bone. It's like something from an armor like. Come Olivia, on. Olivia. What do you got downstairs now? What do, who do we call? Nine nine nine, yeah. Without a doubt, let me grab my shit. Yeah. Wait, we just turn the lights out. I didn't. Hold on. There. Let's keep the lights on. Right, let's just get downstairs calmly, ring the police, and then that's that. We, uh, they're going to turn it into a crime scene and everything. Honestly, the whole place is going to be cornered off. Shit, I'm not. Just call okay. and, uh, just, just call I don't know if you meant to ring 999 when you find bones. Thank you for calling 101. To be connected to Cheshire Police, press 1, or for West Mercia Police, press 2. Never had to do this before. Cheshire Police. Hi, um, my name's Dan, I'm an urban explorer and I'm currently in an abandoned property and we think we've find, found human remains. Hi, my name's Dan, I'm an urban explorer and I'm currently in a, an abandoned location uh, in Cheshire, I think it is, and uh, we think we found human remains. Right, okay, whereabouts are you? Um, one minute, I'll just check my map. Okay, and where, and you've just come across, what, sorry? Um, human bones. Okay, 
well, a, we, we believe to be a human bone. Bone. Yeah. Alright, so just bear with me just one second. I'm yeah, of course. Give you a minute. Okay, thank you. Most nerve-wracking call I've ever made. Hi, sorry about Hi. that. Can okay. I just see your name, please? Yeah, it's Daniel Dixon. Daniel Dixon. Okay. Sorry about this, it's just it's I've okay. never took a call like this before. So just yeah, I've never, I've never made a call like this either. Oh, I don't know, I bet it must be it. So can I take your date of birth, please, um, Daniel? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to st start going to the car and, and sitting in the car because it's quite worrying out here. It was just a long bone, a long bone with like a big knuckle on the end of it. Right, I'm all right, guys. I'm uh, filming. We are currently waiting. No, I'm just filming anyway. Right, so right now I've rang the police and we're waiting for the police. They're actually sending out three different cars. They're sending out two normal police officers and a sergeant um, to come here. Uh, this is them, dude. This is them, Dan. Yeah, Don't speak right, to you. Are you filming here? I'm not filming. Film me. Someone filmed me. Is it really recording? Hi. Yes. Here to the left in this room. Yeah. Left in that room? Yes. So I don't think we all should all be up here to be fair. Right, you guys want to step down? Or... 
Whereabouts is it? There? Just in the in the wall on this side here. There's a hole. You cannot miss it. Yeah, if, if we're allowed to, we will. Okay. Um, probably won't be tonight, but because you probably won't know anything tonight. Right, okay, that's it, innit? There ain't no harm if you give it like a couple of days' time, ring 101, ask them, and then if they can tell you they can, if they can't, they can't. Okay. Alright. Okay, thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. It was fun, it took like 20 pictures. Well, there they are, the police are uh, dealing with it now. CSI is going down. The coroner's office is going down. Going right, yeah. yeah, we're turning right. The coroner's office. Oh, this is true. Guys, we just we just potentially solved a murder case. Let me turn the lights off. We potentially just so solved a murder case. You do realise that, don't you? I know, and I should be excited about it, but I'm sitting here just like more mind blown. Bro, I can't believe, no, 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 we need to come to terms with the fact that you, on the spirit box, just discovered human f***ing in a wall. I mean, what the f***? I'm recording on my phone, by the way, everyone, guys. My, my camera's in the car, they didn't want anything being no, filmed. Yeah, they said no filming. So I, I secretly recorded some yeah, of It's going to be shaky, it's going to be crap, but I tried to record as much as possible. But... Right, so we have literally just gone to Tesco's, pulled up with some fuel in, and, and gathered our thoughts. I would never, ever, in a million years, expect any of this to have been true. But the unthinkable has happened, and we found human remains in that hole. What they find in there, I don't know. So what they're going to do is, uh, when we when we left, they asked they asked us to leave. So they asked us to leave because CSI was coming along. CSI and the coroner's office were coming along. They were coming to obviously excavate the rest of whatever's inside there uh, to find out and determine the cause of death. But they said they're going to let me know. The, well, the, depending now, uh, some things they're not allowed to say. So they told me they're going to ring me either way and let me know whether they can't tell me they can. They're probably just going to ring me and say, you know, you know, Dan, you found that stuff. Well, uh, we can't tell you anything about it. Which uh, then I'd know it's definitely like a murder case. If they ring me and tell me that it was just really old bones been put there by a previous owner, it was the husband or whatever. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm as stumped as everyone else. Yeah, but do you believe the spirit box? That's, that's the question. I mean, this is what I get asked on my channel all the time. Do do I believe? And you know what? Yeah. You know what? I'm start I'm starting to believe. I can't I can't physically deny what I heard with my own ears when it shouted through that spirit box body, right? And then we find that stuff. I mean, I've got to hand it to Andrew. You know, this this is legit. Zach Baggins, if you're listening, hit me up. Get me on Ghost Adventures with you. Come on, son. Let's do this. I think I've earned my place in history now, mate. <laughs> Sorry, I've still got food poisoning, so I'm sick as a dog. <laughs> he had to put that out there, but you know what? My adventure um, doesn't stop here. You know, my adventure is always continuing. Uh, we're going to France, we're going to Switzerland and Italy. Um, I think I was talking about that before I got uh, scared, scared to hell. <laughs> When when uh, Andrew found uh, what he found in that hall, I mean, I thought the wall was coming down. When I heard him screaming, I thought the wall was falling down. I was like trying to, I don't know, covering up in like a fetal position, <laughs> getting ready for impact on my side. But yeah, this has been a crazy ride, crazy crazy roller coaster. And you know what? I always take you guys along because that's what we do. We're an adventure channel, even if we're finding human remains in walls. So anyways, check out, check out my people, Proving With Demons, check you already out know. Boy, proving proving with demons. demons. Check out your boy, Proving Demons, here on YouTube. You know how it is. He does the, Dan does the exploring, we do the paranormal. Exactly. We just scare Dan. That's all, that's you do. all we're here for. Yeah, we just scare the crap out of him. You that's do, you know, you know what? 
I used to sleep pretty well before I met these guys. Now I have to sleep this night. Nice. No, legit, legit. He had to go. He had to go out the room for a second, take a leak, and he actually wanted me to stand outside the room with him, like walk him out because it was nighttime in the house. So, and is it, is it bad that I make Olivia walk in these places first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has he has to stand in the middle between us two when we're walking. Uh, I like that. I, I'm, I'm I feel safer. So what? Uh, I'm Weeman. High times exploring. Go check him out on YouTube. But obviously, all joking aside. Matter. This this could be a murder investigation, so um, obviously we take this very very seriously. Um, I didn't want to show too much of that on camera because um, it is it is disrespectful, especially if we went rooting for all that and showing all that. You know, that's something we, we don't do on this channel.